Every time I'm about to make a video, these things happen to appear on my face, and I'm 23. I thought there was a time when these things disappeared, but I guess that's not at my age now, is it? I'm gonna talk about something that I don't know if it's a thing or not, but I'm gonna make it one if it isn't, and I'm gonna call it your internet life. The definition of your internet life is obviously the life that you live on the internet. And depending on how you go about doing things on your internet life, it could be different or it might not be different from the way you live your normal life. And if you've gone through three different communities like I have, you've had multiple internet lives to go through, and you can actually talk about them and speak from your experiences. When I was 13, I got my first family computer, and because we didn't really have anything on it, my friend let me borrow Unreal Tournament, and that's where my first internet life started. My handle, as you would call it, would be XTS Carnage, XTS being the clan tag that I had and Carnage coming after an episode of Spider-Man that I watched that had Carnage in it. I became friends with a lot of people who were older than me just because the game was rated M and not very many younger people were supposed to be playing such a violent game where you would see arms flying off everywhere and people would just splatter everywhere and there would be nothing left. That being said, me and my clanmates kind of grew apart when I wasn't able to go on to the next game, Unreal Tournament 2003, while the rest of them expanded off and went to that game, I was left kind of in the dust and I didn't really have anyone left to play with. I wasn't really able to keep in contact with them because this was kind of in the day and age of where forums were the big kind of thing. And with forums being the only mode of communication, I couldn't really talk to them on a regular basis. So we kind of all fell out with each other. But recently I got in contact with my old clan leader through Facebook and that was awesome. It wasn't until a few years later when I joined my next online community and that was based upon another video game. My youngest brother was playing RuneScape at the time, and then he got introduced to this game called Gunbound. Not going too in-depth into the game, you had four different game modes, and you could pick up to 16, I think, different characters to choose from, and then the object was to win the game, obviously. And each winner would get experience points, so it's kind of like an RPG type game. Gunbound had another great community behind it, and I also became friends with a lot of these people through Facebook, because Facebook just got introduced around the time that I was playing Gunbound. A little side note from this, I refused to join Facebook at first because I thought it was ridiculous, and I was sticking to this little tight-knit community or slash social networking website called Nexopia that is kind of, you know, limited to Canada, I think. I don't know if any Americans have ever heard of it. One of the things that held me to this game was that it had a ranking system, and I wanted to become the best in the world. So that's what I eventually did. I got to the 21st ranking in the world eventually and then they branched us off to North America and I was fifth in North America at one point. One of the reasons it was so important to me is because everyone in the game cheated to get to those high ranks and I never did, which is great for me but bad for my grades at school because my first year of university marks were not the best because of this game. I would really wanted to meet some of these friends of mine, but I never got the chance to because I didn't have income and I really wasn't old enough to be traveling around the world by myself. There was a small time frame between the time that I finished Gunbound and the time that I joined YouTube, and by joined YouTube I mean made YouTube videos and not just lurked around and watched Smosh videos the whole entire time. I am glad that I have found YouTube because some of my best friends have come from making friends off this website. I even stumbled upon finding the community because I was procrastinating from studying for finals and I found student.com's YouTube Across America video and because I stumbled upon the YouTube community I now have a great new hobby that I can share with the world and that I am proud of. And now I pose a question to each and every one of you. What were your internet lives? What communities did you find and become a part of? How did you find them? Why did you stay? What was so awesome about it? Tell me down here please. Oh, one more thing. Alex? Time's ticking, bro.